the idea of the last lecture, well, it actually wasn't my idea. Uh, it was something that, well, the dean had mentioned uh, other people who had been with the college who had, were in similar circumstances and, and they passed before they were able to get anything as far as some of their reflections and also the chance to see how those folks had impacted others. And so this was much between the, the Dean's Office and University Communications as far as it coming together. And well then my, well, having some ideas come together as far as for, for that talk, well, is all the better. Life with the university and, and my work. Uh, probably as far as, in, I think particularly in online in this context, that my interest and one of the things from, well, bringing, it, bringing a Christian perspective uh, to this issue where most of the folks are wrangling around about the technology, uh, I saw the people aspects as always more important. As what were people doing with it, doing with the technologies, what were their attitudes towards them, and what were the things that made them see the experience more or less favorable. It'll be the first time I've been in a, quote, classroom type setting since uh, late November, I believe. Yeah, this year my teaching load has been entirely online except for a segment in the executive MBA. Uh, program. Uh, well, it's going to be a relatively brief talk, so there's not much to get right about that way. Uh, well, I just hope that folks will come away. Uh, will come away uh, blessed, having given their evening to be part of it. Those of you who came expecting to see one-arm push-ups, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, you will be greatly disappointed. <laughs> Unless uh, somebody in the audience was prepared to do them. Uh, reflective, just on how I've had him 15 years ago, and then watching him both as a dad and as a college professor here as well, and, and then sad knowing that the day is going to come where he, he won't be around, he won't be able to be in the stands, he won't be able to teach and do the things that he's loved to do. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of outside interests or hobbies. <laughs> yeah, whenever, yeah, I, I tend to loathe the question, what do you do for fun? And that usually gets a response of, well, if I had an interesting answer to that, I wouldn't have been doing the kinds of things that made you want to, compelled to be wanting to talk to me in the first place. A lot of people who only had him as their teacher wouldn't know this side of him, but at the youth football programs, they needed announcers to announce the games, and he was the voice who would do that. And so most people might say he's introverted, but yet in the press box as the announcer, he would say, and that person was tackled by a pack of wolves. And so he was, you know, he'd get into it when he was announcing. So I think there's different sides to him that you would see as well. And we, you'd see him at, when our kids were in second grade at a basketball practice, a lot of the parents would be standing around talking. He'd be there with all of his books and he'd be doing work. So, I mean, and he was dedicated to his profession. You know, a life lesson for me that I'm, I'm taking away from this is that we're all on a, a journey, we're all on a path, and we've got billions of different paths in this world, but we have one thing in common. We have a beginning and we have an end. And when I think about what Ben's doing with his last lecture, you know, he's really going out in a way that he wants to go out. He's going out with dignity, he's going out with pride, he's going out being able to say goodbye to old friends and, and kind of move on to wherever he's moving on to in a way that he wants to. And for most people, that's not something we get a chance to do. So with that, uh, I'll wrap up and I'll thank you again for your attention.